Welcome back everybody. This week I've been working in Godot. I made a game for the Brackies Game Jam 2025. I worked with one of my old friends and he did the coding, I did the artwork, and we had the help from Late Bit on the music and sound. And uh, this game, the, the theme of the Game Jam was nothing could go wrong, or nothing can go wrong. And obviously we interpreted it as Yes, it can. And so you're a you're a samurai, and you've challenged the uh, daimyo in your drunken rage, and he set his army on you. So let's have a look at this game. Uh, I've muted it, so unfortunately you can't hear. But please go and play it. Go check out the awesome music by Late Bit, and uh, check out his YouTube channel if you get time. And uh, so he's sent his samurai to destroy us. How many can we defeat? And this game is a game where you have three buttons and a space bar to swing. You have to match their sword position in order to kill them. And uh, that's the basics of the game. They come faster and faster at you, and they're more and more frequent. And you have to try and get a high score. That is, that is the game. And I'll see what high score I can get. And you guys have to beat me and let me know in the comments. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm locking in here. I'm locking in. I'm locking in. Ooh, God. Okay, now it's, now it's ramping. Now it's ramping. Ooh. Okay, guys, this might be... Oh. That actually was my high score ever. So, uh, 21. Can you beat that? And uh, I think it's... Uh, Although it's a very basic game, it's the game we conceived in our brains. We we thought of this. We deliberately sat down together at the very beginning and we, we asked each other, what do we have time for? What do we want to make? What can we achieve? And uh, we basically said, how about a 2D game? Because I do a lot of pixel art. I'm quite quick at it now. And um, we... We took that idea and we said, okay, a platformer. Let's make a platformer, 2D side-scrolling. But we said to ourselves, level design, that's a lot of work, that's a lot of effort, and we don't have the time. Let's make it a static scene. And so we said, well, what is the focus of this game? If it's not platforming, is it fighting? Obviously, the answer was yes. So we're fighting enemies as they come at us, and we said, well, what's the story? And I was thinking... I was thinking medieval, as I kind of always do, but uh, he, he suggested um, samurai theme or Japanese, and uh, although I didn't know much about that, I did a tiny bit of research, so I, uh, I'm not completely, um, you know, out-clued, is that a word? Anyway, I'm clued in now, and um, so it's now you've challenged the, the, the shogun or the daimyo, daimyo to his right to rule. And he's sent his entire samurai army on you. And that's... Nothing can go wrong. You were a drunk. Nothing could go wrong, right? You challenged the guy in charge with an army. Um, and so, yeah, we, we did it. We, we made this very small game. And we did it um, in our free time alongside working. So uh, it's a success, really. And I actually really like Godot. And I think he does, too. Uh, mainly because... It's. It feels like a step up from, um, from, GB Studio, but it's a step to like it's, it's more friendly than Unreal Engine is, which uh, I think he uses a lot of Unreal. I use a lot of GB Studio. This was a perfect middle ground for both of us, I believe, because um, I've been wanting to, you know, get my feet wet with more, more, um, I guess. I wouldn't. I don't want to say important, but but like um, more. I want more control of my games, right? I would love to make. I uh, I would love to make more games that I, I I know that the limits aren't holding me back. For example, um, for, for right now I actually feel like my coding skill in GB Studio is holding me back, um, and the fact there isn't that many you know tutorials on coding specifically in GBVM. That's what's holding me back. If I could really get into the engine and make it my own, then I think I'd I'd be able to level up. However, Godot is that already. There's a million tutorials. 
you know it's just a normal game engine where you can do anything you want um so why wouldn't i try this right it's uh it's a, it was a very interesting learning experience i believe and um can you guys hear the rain right now it's really chucking it down and i'm sat under a skylight so i'm sorry if you can uh, hear the rain too loud but i'll keep going and um so yes i wouldn't mind diving deeper into godot and knowing that it's actually quite friendly what i uh what i found though is that the the sprite editor in gb studio is so good and it's not perfect but it is really good um i i like in this how we have nodes and you can for example if you were to move a character you can basically set using nodes where its center point is while in gb studio it's always if you remember at the bottom of the character or at, at the bottom of the canvas of the character which is kind of annoying because you might not actually want that to be the point of its center so in here we have more we have more control as i'm saying control means that we can actually make different games gb studio is perfect for adventure games you know with small sprites it's good for platforming kind of um but but um godot obviously is the step up that i was kind of uh, wanting to explore um so yeah with the artwork of this let's have a look at the let's have a look at the player let's click on the player let's go on the animated sprite 2d and as you see at the bottom here i've made these animation states as we'd call them in gb studio um and they're based on these sprite sheets that we can find in here uh here we go if we zoom in we have to set the size i think it's 64 by 32 we'll have to do the offset of 16 i think there we go mm. And it uh, looks like it needs a separation of 8. Nope, 16. There we go. And here are all the, the sword fighting sprites in their correct boxes. Um, which GB Studio doesn't really do. it. You have to build the sprites from a sprite sheet. Which I find very good. I like the idea of using pieces to, to, make, a, to make the character. So this is kind of annoying how you have to do all of your work in your image editing software. Um, if you get what I'm saying, like this is just basically, for example, uh, let's try and zoom in more. These sword swings, this top one is the same as this bottom one, but the white has changed and it's actually the same as this. In GB Studio, you'd have, you or you might want to have the, the character with the sword swing and then put on top this white uh, slash and then have a different white slash over it then. So then you're not... Um, you know, wasting information inside the Game Boy. However, because we're not in the Game Boy, we there's not we don't have to worry so much about this about this waste, uh, which which is a um, it's a good thing. But I feel like the limitations made me be creative and think about these extra things. So I don't know. It's uh, it's an interesting balance and dynamic. However, what I am excited for is possibly making a car game in the in this. Um, you know, a toy. Have you ever heard the idea of a of a toy in, in making games in game development where you work on a project because it's fun to work on it, because it's something you would want to play, but more you want to make. And uh, it's fun to make, it's fun to play around with and learn and practice game development. That's what I would be interested in doing in Godot, is making some kind of 3D, low poly, you know, retro style car game. That's what I would want to do. However, I think as well, working with my friend again would be fun. And um, like we did with this one, where we sit down at the beginning and say, what, you know, what skills do we have? What kind of, what kind of thing are we capable of? And then making it based on like a, uh, a game design document over a longer period. I think that also would be uh, healthy and interesting. Uh, it would definitely encourage me to learn more coding. I did do a tiny bit of coding in this. I basically just... Um, you know, if you look in the scripts, in the player, all I did was set the animated sprite to play my, my animation. And I made sure they were all the correct points. But I didn't code the, the functions around them. However, there's nothing stopping me. Now I've seen how it works, I should be able to just copy-paste and, and learn, right? 
Um, and I hope that uh, you have taken part in the Bracky's Game Jam as well. If you have, send a link or I don't think you can send a link on, on the YouTube comments. However, um, you can comment on my game and tell me to play your game. You can do that on itch.io. And so I'll put the link in the description and, and you can check it out and maybe I'll check yours out. So uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. I'll put my patrons up on the screen right now. Bye-bye.